I'm Adriel. I'm a DevOps engineer, and in my spare time, I strive to learn new things. It's my hope that with this channel, I can share the things that I learn, tips and tricks, how-tos, and reviews of software and hardware tech that I use. In today's video, we're gonna talk about two shell client applications that you can use on a mobile device, their differences, their similarities, and which one may be the better of the two. With that being said, let's jump into it. Blink and Termius are the shell clients that we're gonna talk about today. They allow you to open up SSH, Secure Shell, or Mosh, Mobile Shell, uh, connections to remote servers. This is super handy when you're on the road. Granted, we are in 2021 and we're still feeling the effects of 2020. So that may not be occurring as frequently as it used to, but it's still really handy if you're using like an iPad as your daily driver, uh, laptop replacement, or if you just don't have physical access to your desktop at that specific time. Personally, I came across these products specifically because I did try to implement the iPad into my daily workflow as my laptop replacement. Now I do a lot of development work on the side and so I still needed to be able to access development tools that I just wasn't able to get on the iPad. So all my testing has been done on the iPad and that's where I'm coming from with this video. Now that being said, the Termius client can be used on other styles of devices, can be used on Linux operating systems, Windows, Mac OS, Android, or iOS. But what's really powerful about these tools is that if you're really familiar with the terminal and you use a terminal in your daily work, then as long as you have an internet connection and an iPad, you can totally get work done through one of these clients. Now, let me preface this with a couple things. First, you're gonna need a remote server to connect to. A reason, of course, to connect to that server, some credentials to allow the connection to take place in that server, and of course, an iPad, or if you're going with Termius, another mobile device. Let's talk about Blink Shell for a moment. Blink is iOS and iPad specific, so you're not gonna be able to get access to this on another type of device. It is a paid application with about a $20 upfront cost. It does offer pretty robust features like native SFTP support. You're also able to sync your hosts with the iCloud. And of course that does not include your SSH keys uh, because that is considered secret information. So Blink just doesn't allow the syncing of those keys across devices. You do have the ability to use keys though instead of just using a username and password. And I always prefer to use keys wherever I can. You can set up hosts, default users, your terminal appearance, keyboard, notifications, and several other things. Now, what I really love about Blink is that when you open up the application, it opens up right into a Unix terminal. This allows you to use Unix commands directly on your iPad. For example, you can use things like nslookup, dig, who I am, sftp, history, date, curl, make directory, list directory, and so many more, which is so wonderful if you're really familiar with the terminal and command line. This gives you really powerful tools directly on the iPad so that you may not even need to connect to a remote session. But let's be real, the real power here is getting those development tools in a remote session. Not everything is supported, right? Like X11 forwarding is not supported so you can't pop open a GUI from your desktop into the terminal. However, if you use the command line, you'll be perfectly fine here. Now for me, my development environment is set up in Vim. So it's really, really powerful for me to be able to use the terminal because that's where I live most of the time anyway. Now, Termius is also a shell client and it's also an iPad application, but it does come on many more different platforms like Windows, Linux, Android, and Mac. It has both a free and a paid option. Now, with the free option, you don't get some of those features like SFTP support. And the paid option is via subscription instead of one-time payment. But if you're using this across multiple different platforms and devices, the paid option is probably worth the cost for you if this is your only type of client. Some of the other things the paid features in include are things like snippets, secure cross-device syncing, terminal tabs, port knocking, touch ID, and more. Termius also offers both SSH and Mosh connections, and it's a little bit more graphical. It does not open directly into a terminal when you open the application. Instead, it opens up to a configurator where you can click on things to go ahead and make those SSH connections. So if you're looking for Unix commands directly on your iPad, Termius may not be the solution for you. The paid option 
is listed as about $8.33, but it's billed annually and it is a reoccurring subscription. So it is definitely more expensive than Blink in the long term and short term. But with that, you get access to this in more than just the Apple ecosystem. All in all, both Blink and Termius are super powerful tools and they both have pros and cons. Personally, I prefer one-time payments over subscriptions. Plus, I only use the Apple ecosystem in terms of my personal devices. Granted, most of my time is still spent on a Linux OS anyway. My personal choice is Blink. Having the ability to run Unix-based commands directly on my iPad with Blink really makes me enjoy the experience of Blink so much more. But again, Termius is also a really powerful option as well. It just doesn't suit my specific use cases as good as Blink does. But if you're looking to use something like on an Android device or looking for something to use on Windows, then Termius certainly could be an option for you. In either case, I've linked both of these applications in the description below so that you can check them out and read about them on their websites if you want. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you disliked it, please let me know why. And if you wanna see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.